Well, we're out here at Maryland Stadium this Tuesday afternoon. Just talked to Coach Loxley, to Leah, to Chig, to Jordan Mosley. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Bruce Posner. A little bit of live turp talk here. Bruce, I'm sure all your guys want to know what do you think is going to happen for the next six games of this season? <laughs> Well, I'd like to know myself, but uh, it's a enigma as to what, how this team's going to do. Look, you and me both, Wayne, have talked about it at, at infinitum that it's urgent for this team to get six wins. All right, they have four. They need two wins. One of them could come this Saturday. I think a win this Saturday could uh, jet propulse them into the rest of the season. Uh, they're underdog. The last time I looked, they were five-point underdogs, which certainly isn't that bad. Uh, Minnesota has beaten Purdue. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, uh, they've played, they've won four out of five games, but Terps beat them last year. They were able to move the ball, and you keep hearing they're experienced and this and that. You know, the injury to Demas lingers on this team. The injury to Jason Jones lingers, but I like the growth of Jig on Quaco. And you saw it today in the interview. You see that Talia, you know, I know I prodded him to the answer. Just a little bit. Right. But he's got that, you know, Lamar, Mark Andrews confidence beginning to build. A five catches a game, 60 yards. He's good. I you know, Chig, Chig three a, touchdowns for the year. Chig still reminds me of Vernon Davis. A couple weeks ago, I asked him if he reminded himself of Vernon Davis. And he... Laugh, but you say who? No, he knew Vernon Davis. Well, Vernon, I comes bet he out does, does he know who John Mackey is? Probably not, although the award's named after him, and he's know, on he's the a, award list. He's on the list. I like to get some films of John Mackey to get inspired. Viner Four Gates makes your company work. You know, Leah was himself. I mean, he obviously wasn't shaken up, shaken up from the loss to Ohio State. And, uh, like Loxley said, they're four and two after six games. You'd have been happy, I'd have been happy, but you're not happy when you start off 4-0. No. You know, so it's a little bit different. But Look, a couple of years ago, the Terps went to Minnesota and won. Jake Funk scored a few touchdowns. Uh, they went back there and lost. I was there a couple of years ago. The pandemic year, Maryland wins here in overtime. Was that a missed extra point? Or was a that... missed extra point in overtime on this end of the stadium. That's what I thought. Uh, and Maryland takes it. They Thought it was going to go to another overtime, but you win however you can win. Um, this is, if you want to test, can they play to the standard? If you want to test, they have the right guys here. All these things are going to be tested because the games theoretically are winnable. It is tough to win on the road. You're at Minnesota. Indiana comes here for homecoming. Then you have Penn State here. Uh, you have to get this ship righted by the time the Nittany Lions come in. Well, you got to get you got to get ship right in the first quarter. You can't have uh, everybody being beat by ten yards downfield for touchdowns. One guy I want to mention, I mentioned it in the interview. <clears throat> rest of the season, keep an eye on Dante Trader. He wears number twenty. He's from McDonough. Yeah, he's a Baltimore kid, also a lacrosse kid. So Wayne and myself already know him and know his family and talked to Coach uh, Tillman about it. My only fear is. But if it happened, I'd survive, is that he has a great year, yeah. you know, and maybe they don't let him play lacrosse. Or don't let him or he doesn't want to. Nick I Cross is in front of him. He splits time. He gets about 20% of the snaps now, does Dante Trader. Dante could wind up as a corner, though. You don't know. Oh, he's a big hitter. I think he's a safety. I think he's got a, a pro look to him. If Nick Cross goes pro, your starting safety next year is probably Dante Trader as a sophomore. Watch him. He's going to be playing a lot this week. He's two on the depth chart. He's been playing 20%. You told me the snaps might be a little bit more this week. I'm looking forward to it. I really believe in the kid. And uh, overall, listen, sometimes during the season, you face a pivotal crisis game. This is one. No, the season's not over. If they lose, they're still four and three. But this is a game. This is a game that could really propel the, propel the season it's a success because you have Indiana coming in next week, and that will be a game that Maryland <clears throat> certainly can put on the W column, and then it starts to get a little tougher. 
and ends with Rutgers. The ends with Rutgers, and you got Michigan weekend. State in there. That That's might a, be top, top ten. Michigan State looks a little better than we thought. Yeah, but they also yeah. don't look as great as we thought. Okay, and no <laughs> no criticism. Look, you got Penn State, Michigan, Michigan State. That's a tough road. This has got to be. Yeah, the but between the three the teams. If you could play one team three times, it'd be Michigan State. It still would be. We'll, we'll wrap up our speculation here. Thanks <laughs> to the big dog, Rick Jacklich, for his season-long sponsorship of these Turp Talk videos. You can catch Bruce and I on Turp Talk 6 o'clock on 1300. The bet in Baltimore, and you've still got in the nest. Yeah, that's on uh, Monday morning at 8 o'clock, and we also have the Sports Maven on uh, Saturday and Really, our real Terp show is still Wednesday. It's all Terps. But look, I'm going to be talking about Maryland, Michigan on Saturday, no matter what, because it's such a big game in uh, Minnesota. But... Minnesota, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Michigan's coming up. Another team that isn't that, I don't know, these teams are in the top 10, and I don't feel, I still don't think Iowa's a great team. It's an odd season. It is I, an odd I was season. rooting for Iowa, and they didn't come through. We will see you on the radio Wednesday night. Good afternoon.